Um, just been working on this guitar stand, trying to just get it done. But, you know, you can only do so much at a time. Uh, so what I did was I took this, I think this is some, what is it, crepe myrtle? Um, maybe I could do it this I cut a tree down not too long ago, and I just kept the 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 branch because it was so straight, as you can see. Uh, I took my gr angle grinder, and I just got rid of the bark, main, basically, so it fits through the hole nicely up to here, and I can turn it. And I, I did little, deliberately kept it tight, so hopefully when I turn it, it won't be doing that, rolling with the guitar, the weight of the guitar. And then all the way on this end is the block that I cut and sanded to the exact shape of the uh, neck joint on the body. And these holes correspond to the holes on the body where the neck plate goes in and the screws hold the neck on. Well, this is basically serving as a neck, except it's just going to go into that hole over there in the stand and let me paint this thing. So these are wood screws, and as you can see, I filed them off with my with my handy uh, Dremel tool. They're not flush or, or, you know, smooth. They're just not sticking out. Uh, so there's that. And then um, there's the tar body all taped up. And then here's this. I got the hole done up. Um, and I gorilla glued another little piece in there so that when the body's resting uh, on the end, that piece will. This. You can't see it, that piece. That little piece, chunk of wood right there. It'll keep the body level. Well, that's my theory anyway. I'll bring this over here. Uh, so let's uh, let's see if maybe I can get this thing. Uh, maybe I can get it actually working. So I made the hole low instead of way up here because I didn't want to be painting way up in the air. I, you know, just right here is fine. I I think I don't know. Maybe maybe overspray is going to bounce off this thing. I don't know. Maybe I should have put it up higher. Who knows? Um, so I got this thing that would uh, maybe screw into this body here. Oh, I have to grab it in a way that I can hold it. Uh, let's see, how would this work? Okay, so hang on. now that's where it, so that's how it looks. And see, then I can turn the, the body, you know, face down that would be face down right there and then this oh, if i could turn it oh that would be face up uh so yeah so now i need to see if i can uh screw this onto the thing so what what i'm gonna do is just see, i'm gonna put this screws in here okay now this probably won't work on another body because those screws aren't going to line up I didn't think of that maybe I'll have to drill some more screws I don't know well anyway so these screws should line up with this thing oh, maybe they won't Let's see if they, let me see if, I wish I could, I wish I could hold my ball, but I can Now, at least you can see something when I'm not having to hold a stinking camera. So I think if, if I lift this up, these might line up with this. I'm not sure. Oh no. I don't know if this is really going to, and I really don't want to put these in here. Well, I guess they'll be okay. 
It's not going to paint over anything but the screws. Let's see. Let me do it faster. I cannot line these up. Okay. So we got it, I think, attached. Okay, it doesn't have to go all the way as long as it holds it. That's really all I'm concerned about. Okay. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. Um. So now. Now it's uh, it's held on by those bolt, those screws, not bolts, and then the front is just, you know, it's just there. So now we'll see if I can slide this thing through, and if it'll hold. That's gonna be the real test. Okay, now I finally wanted to finally win it. Look at that. Would you just look at that? So now I'll be able to paint this guitar from pretty much any angle. And it should, because that, that hole is kind of tight right there, it should stay where I put see I've got it at an angle right now. So if I want to paint that way, or if I want to turn this thing, it's, yeah, I have to push down on it. So there we go. So if I want to paint the, the sides, get a good angle, you know. And then when I'm, when I'm done, I paint the back. Oh, yeah. And then paint the front just like that. Paint the front just flat that way it won't have any runs no it's slightly it's not perfectly level but that's level enough that's way more level than hanging it from a coat coat hanger so that's it took me a few minutes to make that but it's uh it's not going anywhere that's for sure i mean that's not gonna you know, it's not going to fall over at all. I don't need a clamp. Uh, but I may put a clamp, you know, because accidents can happen. So anyway, that's it. Now what I got to do is uh, I have to... Um, I have to tape off the headstock. And... I'm going to paint the pickups also the same color as the body. I think I'm going to paint it like a candy green with reflective sparkles in it. So the pickups are going to be green and sparkly against either the, well, the white pit guard or a, a pearly. I probably get a pearly one, like one of those tortoise shell, like a mother of pearl look. I think that would be pretty gaudy. But I don't know how these pickups are going to sound, so I don't know. It's just all fun and games. Well, that's it. My little, little stand. Why does it not look in focus now? Huh, that's really weird. So there it is. Just a simple little thing. I saw somebody build one on the internet, YouTube, and I said, hey, that's a good idea because now you can paint it with with all the angles. You don't have to just walk around it on a coat hanger and hope you don't put too much paint and it starts to run. You got to sand it forever. Pfft, who needs that? All right. Well, all right. Well, I think that's about it for singing. So... Um, that's it. I will be buying me some paints. I'm going to first tape all everything up and 
I'm not sure how that primer is going to stick on the pickups since they're plastic, but it's supposed to stick to plastic. I may take some really fine sandpaper and rough the pickup covers up. Maybe give it something to bite into and hold on to. Baby, hold on to me. Uh, I got two tickets to paradise. Oh, excuse me. Um. I'm gonna take you. Okay, I can't. I mean, I can't. I can't resist. I can't resist singing <laughs> Eddie Money. Wait, Godzilla in my garage. <laughs> okay, just sometimes you just have to do a Godzilla sound. Oh uh, well, that got very dark very quickly. Uh, literally. Oh, now I'm back in the house. It's only gonna be like 95 the whole week, so nothing to worry about. Uh. So that's it. I bought this primer. I don't know how good it's going to be. This Zinzer Bullseye 123. I don't know if it's even supposed to be used on guitar. I don't know. I have no idea. I may ruin the whole thing. Well, that's it. Later. I cut my finger trying to work on my beard trimmer. Cut it in two places. Sliced it like a dang tomato. I didn't know those tr blades were that sharp. I thought they were just sharp on the inside. Like like between the fingers right in here. No. They're like sharp on the on the ends too. It's like. Whoosh, whoosh. And I didn't even know I cut myself. They're so sharp. And I saw these little two slits of blood. I'm like oh that's nice. Well anyway. Catch y'all at a future point in time. At a future point in time, Mr. Scott. I need more power, Mr.